Hello everyone, it's Adetra Farmaster and welcome to a new The Sims 4 Speedball House Building video. So today I'm building a villa called The Sunshine Villa, which I originally planned to build in Granite Falls, which is the outer retreat world. Then I actually replaced it to another lot in uh, Granite Falls. And then in the end, you'll see that in the fly fruit, I actually put it in the desert world called Oasis Springs. Is it always? Yeah, it is Oasis Springs, I believe. Um, because I found that the uh, colors look much better there. So in the end, you will actually see that it's located in a different world, but the entire building process will be in different lots in Granite Falls. So that's just to um, yeah, prepare you. Maybe you just can't handle the shit of the change that I'm actually putting it on different lots all the time. Well, actually only just twice, once during the building. Um, but yeah, this is quite a big villa, which is uh, partly why it actually took such a long time for me to upload another speed build after the last one. But also it took a long time because I've been very busy with school. The uh, yeah, the school year is actually coming to an end, which makes that um, yeah, it's always a very busy time. And um, yeah, the weather is getting better as well. So therefore I'm going outside much more than in the winter. So uh, that's another reason. But I'm still, um, yeah, whenever I actually have time to uh, record videos, I'm very happy to do so. And I must say that I really miss uh, not being able to make videos. I have actually, by the time you watch this, um, finished the, um, the Let's Build an, uh, a shopping center, that's it. I've actually finished that Let's Build series um, after quite a long time, after like the time from the release date of um, The Sims for Get to Work to now. I've actually been working on that shopping center and I must say there were like some very long pauses between the building um, yeah, times but it did take a very long time because the shopping center is massive but in the end I think it turned out to look cool so if you would like to have a shopping center for your sims um, yeah, to work in though I think working in it is pretty hard because it's like very big but if you want to you can just download it from the gallery just like you can actually download this building from there search for origin id um, dutch sims mask you can actually search that or put it in the search bar on the gallery and then you will be able to find my buildings uh, like any of my buildings and also my room build text because that's something else i've actually started to do since um yeah i think several weeks ago i actually started doing this series because uh, I personally want to improve my uh, interior building a little bit and with that series I can actually really focus on doing the interior and I noticed that very many people actually like the interior very much as well while I personally prefer doing the exterior. Many people actually like watching me build the interior as well and like um, to get inspiration from me. So therefore I decided to actually do that series because then I can actually improve my interiors so it will actually get better in the speed builds and also in the series I can really put much more effort into one interior simply because you know with a speed build you have to build I think eight rooms and there you only have to build one so you can really put much effort into it so um, if you like interiors check out that series I've so far only uploaded one room build but I'm planning on uploading many more I have actually gotten quite some suggestions for new room builds already but yeah I've not made a decision yet which one I want to make so please uh, put some more suggestions in the comments also for the future maybe it will not be like the first video in which I'll actually do or or build your request but maybe later on I will actually build what you requested so um, yeah just put it in the comments and I'll do my best to actually um, build what you would like um, me to see build if that's like a correct sentence um, so also um, yeah what can I actually tell some more this is I believe a two bedroom two bathroom house and the interior is very modern and I always notice that people say that you know the exteriors of houses are often very um, like modern and then the interior is like way too detailed and not that modern actually so therefore I've decided to go for quite a modern exterior or interior this time fitting the cool looking modern exterior actually but um, yeah I think it really looked cool in the end and I'm happy with the way it turned out to look like it's quite a messy house as you can see oh the camera movement is kind of fast right now but uh, that's just because I'm looking around a little bit too much maybe but um, anyways uh, it's quite a big building but um, yeah I think you know it, it was kind of inspired by such uh, like a cool uh, like 
you know, Vela, which you see somewhere around the, like the Mediterranean. You know, I heard about, you know, Martin Garrix having his own villa for the summer on uh, Ibiza or Ibiza. It really depends the way you say it, because I believe English people say like Ibiza, but that's not the way I would normally say it. But um, yeah, I think, you know, the tropical, well, kind of tropical island in the Mediterranean, um, yeah, part of Spain, that's uh, what I'm i'm talking about but that place is kind of full like villas like these ones this was kind of inspired by that um and in the end you know we don't have like a very cool tropical world yet to build in unfortunately but um yeah if we would have a dad which i really want because in that way i would be able to build so many more cool houses because all my ideas i have are actually kind of to be built in like tropical areas but um yeah this was kind of inspired by that and to kind of give it that feel i decided to in the end put it in oasis springs instead of this world because i thought the colors of the house looked so much better there so um as i said that's just something you can expect later on in the video so furthermore uh, we are actually getting a new world for the sims 4 if you've not heard about that yet um yeah for more information click on the screen like somewhere right now or just go to the um yeah the description of the video actually i think i'll put uh, the link to the video in which i talk about that a little bit more um i'll put that in the um yeah the description not the comments i always say the comments but i mean the description and then you'll actually be um yeah sent forward to a video in which i explain about this world called new crust it's actually a world which is not filled with um buildings from ea and therefore they've asked several building youtubers um to actually build houses for that world yeah i've not been asked to do that unfortunately um because of course i'm definitely not a sims youtuber and definitely not a builder um uh -huh. so um but there are some uh, people who have been asked to build uh homes for that world of course i'll be building uh houses for that as well um yeah he has not asked me to do so but i'll just do so you know everyone can actually build houses to put in that world called new crust it's um yeah an empty world it really looks like um willow creek it's actually kind of like willow creek but the theme is just exactly the same it's just that the world the shape is kind of different but the theme like the green style is like exactly the same but um it gives us more opportunities to build on which i'm very happy with because that's what i need but i still want that tropical world and um yeah in that video i actually asked people to let me know what world they would like to see and i noticed that there were very many people who with me actually would like to have a uh yeah a very tropical world as well so i'm happy to see that i'm not the only one because then ea might actually change that and build like a very cool tropical world i would love to see that but um yeah and you know i would really be willing to pay because that's something cool about new crust actually it's a free uh world that comes with an update so you'll just be able to download it no um payment needed so that's awesome but uh to uh, see new crust and to get to know a little bit more about it um you just you know check out the description and then you'll find the video which i'll probably forget to put in there but otherwise just go to my channel it's one of my latest videos so um yeah as you can see here i'm adding the windows and i must say that i really think this house starts to look cool when i'm actually looking at back um because i've actually built this like i think several days ago already but i kind of forgot the way it looked like and i only found time to record this commentary right now um, and I must say that it really turned out to look pretty cool. I really wasn't sure with the, um, the you know, the wall paintings. I'm really messing around with that um, because I really had no idea. By the way, here you actually see that I've uh, changed the location. I Maybe it's just me that only has just noticed it, noticed it but um, yeah, as you can see, it's on a different lot now. You actually see the old house at the right. Um, but here I'm adding all the wall paintings and I seriously had no idea which wall painting to put on because I really wanted it to look very modern but at the same time I wanted some detail but not too much but uh, only making it like entirely wide was very boring um, and you know I tried you know playing around with colors and then I think I'm actually not changing the final colors while I'm recording because I really Took, I think it took like half an hour to choose the correct wall painting um, but in the end it did look cool especially in the uh, area of Oasis Spring 
is it Oasis Springs? Yeah, it is Oasis Springs, which is that desert world where everything looks a little bit more yellow, like it really looks cool there. So um, yeah, in the end, I think I'm happy with the way it turned out to look like. So um, as I said, you can actually download this. Um, and by the way, I'm actually when uh, New Crust is coming out, I'm actually going to start a new Let's Build, just a regular Let's Build a house. I must say that I kind of started missing just a normal let's build in which i build a house not just a, a commercial lot i feel like people are a little bit more involved with the building of a house uh than with the building of a, a like a community lot so therefore i'm actually going to be um, building a, a a normal house with a let's build in new crust which is that new world which makes it a little bit different actually uh, which i'm happy with and i'll actually be able to build a very big house then because with speed builds I can often not build like a very big house. This one is actually pretty massive, but normally I can't simply because those houses are just take way too much time to make. And then I often don't have to uh, have the opportunity to just build those huge houses. But um, for Let's Build, I will actually be able to do so. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that Let's Build. It will come out this week, I think. I'm not sure yet the day. Um, because I must find time to record, but I'll do my best and also I'll be recording more um, Yeah, I'll be recording more let's or more uh, Room builds. That's it. I've really been searching for the word uh, And also I'll have to start pre-recording several um, videos I think for the summer because I'll be away for four weeks during summer. I'll be going on two holidays So um, yeah, I must record for that as well or I want to record for that because I want to upload videos for you uh, so you actually have to something to do in the holiday or if you like don't go away uh, oh, and by the way here you actually see the change between the colors of the wall paintings as you can see it's a little bit more detailed here i'm just adding some things to the wall paintings and i think in the end it really turned out to look much cooler than it did before and uh, i did indeed go for wood which i intentionally did not want to do but uh, it just looked much better in my opinion so that's where i went for in the end so um yeah what i wanted to say i'm actually going on holidays quite a lot this coming summer so uh, therefore i'll have to pre-record several videos but i think that will work out i might do like an extra let's build or something i'm not sure yet and some more google sketchup videos maybe i the point is that you know in the future or the future coming two weeks i have like very many tests um because it's the end of the year and you know teachers can't plan so therefore they plan everything for the last several weeks and then I actually have to make all those tests and like directly after a uh, no school has ended and those tests have ended I go away to Cambodia actually uh, for holiday with friends and then uh, yeah I won't really have the opportunity to record very many videos but I think I'll be able to you know I'll pass this school year like with no problems so there's not much importance in those tests so I'll just um, record as many videos as I can for you and then after Cambodia I'll be home for two weeks and then I'll go away again um, so um, yeah it's going to be quite an epic summer I think and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it but recording videos might be a little bit hard but I'll just do my best to upload as much as I can and I know that you know it might sound like I feel like it is like something I have to do that's really not the point. I just really enjoy making these videos and I like putting up stuff and getting feedback from you. And if I don't make videos, I don't get that and I don't like that. So therefore, um, yeah, don't worry. It doesn't really, you know, it's not something I have to do. It's just something I want to do and I really want to do, which makes that it sounds like I have to do it. But don't worry. Um, so yeah, by the way, if you would like to get to know a little bit more about me, because I know that very many people just watch my speed builds or just my regular building videos and I have no idea who the fuck I am. Um, and then you can just check out my uh, Q&A. Uh, you actually see me in a video and then you actually get to know a little bit more about me. And um, yeah, that's actually it. Uh, so here, I'll put that video in the um, description as well, but I'll probably forget it. But um, just remind me that I do it or just look for it on the channel. So um, here you see that I'm doing the gardening, which uh, turned out to be very basic, but really cool, I think. 
uh, I did as much as I could with the garden because you know gardening is always something that you can't do that much with in The Sims 4 with The Sims 3 you could like build crazy things but for some reason it just doesn't really work out for me with The Sims 4 but I must say that it the Sims 4 is really starting to progress and get much better and especially when we get new items and hopefully new worlds uh, though we already get one but hopefully a tropical world as I said that would actually really make it better and then half walls and um, terrain tools terrain tools is really on the top of my list then uh, a tropical world I think and then yeah what would be on my list as well you could say half walls yeah, not really half walls, actually just constraint flow elevation, which makes it much more like challenging to build stuff. Uh, so therefore I think constraint flow elevation, something like that, I would love to see back. Um, so here I'm just adding a bar, which came with uh, the luxury party stuff pack, which I actually did a review on. Uh, it wasn't very positive because this is like one of the only cool items coming with it. But I did actually use like three or four of the items that come with it so i must say the items that come with this expand or, or that stuff like, are actually pretty good it are just not that many items like only 12 for 10 bucks so um yeah but as you can see those bars tools are actually from the sims for uh yeah luxury party stuff back um so they do really look cool it are just not enough uh, items here i'm actually you know there i'm actually using uh, some you know paintings or art things uh, from the Sims 4 um, Luxury Party as well, I thought it would look cool and I think in the end it actually did look cool, so I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, it's just very modern, I really went for like white colors and like some grey, but furthermore not that much color except for colors which come from plants and like fruit and you know some other objects. But that's mainly it, so I like that, especially with the uh, living room or just the lower level I went for that. Um, and the interior really looks good, I think, but um, you can actually judge that, I can't say that, maybe. You know, I did what I like, but maybe it's not what you like. So, of course, remember that you can always just request buildings. Uh, for those of you who have, who have actually done it right and I've not built it yet, it's just simply the point that I don't have enough time to actually build all the requests I get. And uh, not all the requests are good requests, to be honest, or they're not something I personally like to build. But um, just request them and maybe I'll actually build it and then um, you'll find out soon enough. So um, here I actually used such a huge rug, which I'd never uh, used before, but it did actually look cool in this modern house. So um, yeah, I'm actually having kind of a cold, so I hope I don't sound too much like a duck. But um, yeah, oh well. Uh, here I actually added like a huge television and I had so many struggles uh, building this because when I, whenever I actually like changed something when it came to the wall paintings, uh, like very many items I actually put on that um, television, you know, furniture, I were actually deleted. So I really had some troubles there. But um, yeah, in the end it fixed and I think it really looked cool. So um, yeah, the building went very fast as you can see the interior and that's why because I actually recorded this or at least I built this because I didn't record it but I thought I recorded. So I literally like nearly built the entire le uh, lower level and then I found out that half of it hadn't been recorded. So I deleted it, built it again while recording and then with the second level the same thing happened again so that's one thing I would, if obs actually watches this obs is a recording software i use it is free so i can't really blame them too much but seriously make something which fraps has which shows you that you're actually recording and it shows you that you're not recording because that would seriously i think that could have saved me i think in total five hours or something i've really spent so much time building things thinking i was actually recording while i wasn't um by the way here i'm adding a or making a gym i'd never done that in the sims 4 yet and i actually found out that this was something i did in the sim 3 very often and real yeah you know adding a gym to a house really feels like the ultimate thing to do in the sims like you know whenever you build a sims house you must add like some crazy kind of dreamy thing like a gym or whatever like a pool an indoor pool or a cinema something like that which you 
normally not have in your house but you can actually do in the sims here i actually uh, went for uh yeah a, a teen bedroom with like a blue and a um pink like a night table and here i went for a double monitor setup as well just because that's something i would really like to have i don't have it simply because i'm someone who if he wants or yeah i personally really think it must look like good just aesthetically and therefore if i would actually buy another monitor uh, to fit with the one or just if i buy an extra monitor i would actually have two because i currently or of course have one but then it just wouldn't look good so then i would actually have to buy two of the same new monitors because buying another one of the one i have I just, you know, the one I currently have is okay, but it's just not very big. So therefore I would have to buy like two of the same ones. Um, that's just really kind of, what do you call that? No, well, it's not a disease, uh, OCD. That's kind of an OCD thing of me that it, I would actually like to have like two identical um, monitors. Here are actually, I went crazy with those du uh, duo monitor setups because I did it as well over here. Um, because that's kind of the study area, the working area of the house, uh, which looks pretty fancy as well, I thought, you know, it was, yeah, you know, the idea behind it was kind of that it's like a magazine or newspaper um, room or article writer, because I added very many of those, yeah, article things. But uh, we're very close to the end of this, um, yeah, speed build. Thanks for watching the vi entire video if you're watching this. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please let me know what you thought of it. And then I would hope to see you back in another video. Bye.